Israel go into captivity? Simple. Very subtle. They tolerated the world around them. They just tolerated. That's all you need to do. Just compromise. Tolerate. 1973 this happened. A man tried to rob a bank in Stockholm. But the police trapped him in there. He had four hostages for five days. The okay, fight was three men and a woman. He terrorized them. He fired many shots. He put nooses around their neck. He did all this, but he didn't harm them. Then finally, after five days, after so much negotiations, he surrendered. But the thing is that the way he dealt with the hostages, the hostages refused to be angry with him. They were actually more afraid of the cops than the fellow who took them hostage. They refused to testify against him. And one of the ladies, the lady, the lady that was there, it was either three ladies and one man or one man and three ladies, even got engaged to him. This is what they call the Stockholm Syndrome. That's where you get the term in psychology. Under stress, the hostage starts to transfer his hatred. Now, instead of hating the one who has captured him, he begins to hate the one who would rescue him. And that's exactly what the devil has done to the church. Now, instead of hating the world that is holding you hostage, you start hating Christ who would rescue you and the preachers who preach the truth. You know what? The entire church in the world is going through a Stockholm syndrome. They love the world. And they hate anybody who comes and preaches against the world and tries to move them from their comfortable, compromised life. Ultimately, what happens? The world is the good guy and Christ becomes the bad guy. That's how the world will be prepared to receive the Antichrist who is the good guy. Good guy. And they will reject Christ who is the bad guy. That's why the people said that's how the church began. 50 days before the church began, they said, crucify him, release Barabbas, release Barabbas. The cross on which Jesus was crucified was not made for him. It was made for Barabbas. It was actually made for Barabbas. But the people said, release Barabbas. Barabbas becomes the hero. Christ becomes the villain. You know the church is caught in the Stockholm Syndrome? Christ is a villain. The real Christ is a villain. If you preach the actual true Christ who redeems you and saves you from the world to the uttermost, people get upset. You mean to say that I need to leave all this? But it is so nice. What's wrong with this idea? What's wrong with this idea? I don't see anything wrong with this idea. I don't see anything wrong with this idea. No. That's what the devil does. Jesus came to rescue us from not only from the penalty of sin, but also from the world. The power of sin lies in the world. That's why the world will be burnt away one. The power of sin lies in two things. One in the world, the other in my flesh. That's where the power of sin. If I have to be saved from the power of sin, I have to die to the world. I cannot live for the world and live to the world. I have to die to the world. Then only the power of sin over my life is broken. What does the devil do? He uses well-qualified or very qualified preachers to teach compromise. Like Rehoboam and Jeroboam did. Either have two cause makes worship and religious Christianity very convenient or changes gold for bronze. Preach a cheap grace.